Welcome to Well's Quick Tips and Trick YouTube cooking channel and today I am come up with paya curry, mutton paya curry. I showed you uh, the video of paya soup. So out of the payas uh, I, which are already cooked in that soup, so I am going to make curry out of it. So uh, I will share the link in the uh, description box of paya soup and what I added to make that. You can go through that. Now to make a paya curry, so we need this paya, this is of that same uh, four uh, legs of mutton, that is paya uh, and they are cooked. Then I have taken some around six almonds and few one uh, teaspoon, big teaspoon of cashew nuts broken to go with in our masala. So I am going to grind this, then we need some tomatoes and onions to be grind so let me keep this aside and I will show you my other ingredients so I have taken like one white onion to uh, grind this so I am taking like three fourth of that and three fourth I will just leave this over here then I am taking again another uh, one onion to grind and one I will keep here then I will take one big tomato to grind finely chopped in that I will add some coriander leaves and one green chili and I have taken uh, three pods of like this of three pods of uh, small uh, garlic so I'm going to add it with skin to grind this and few I will just leave this over here and let's grind this to a fine paste so here is my gravy ka masala paste so now let it be here and we'll start our procedure now the remaining one So the remaining onion, this is like around a half of white onion and half uh, one onion of red. And this is like one small tomato, one green chili. Now we'll fry this along with the garlic. So this is like one of this garlic. Now I'm going to add in this. We'll take some ghee and some oil for this. So one uh, teaspoon of ghee I am using. And one teaspoon of oil. Cooking oil. You can use a mustard oil also. That's up to you. my spoon Let's start frying. So this is optional. This is magic masala. It's optional. You want to use, you use. Or you can use uh, normal Maggi cube stock if you want to use. Or some wants to use this. And then I'll be using my homemade biryani masala to this. Around 1 tablespoon of biryani masala to this when I am frying everything so if you have if you don't have I will share this link also in the description box and uh, you can uh, just uh, if you don't want to make this at home you can get the ready-made or you can use Everest or you can use any chicken or meat masala too okay So 
so my oil is hot i will add this curry leaves and this onions let them fry it won't take much time for this because uh, our payas are already cooked so only our masala has to fry nicely the ghee and the oil combination gives nice aroma you can uh, do this paya curry in different different way in goa you can use shakuti masala also instead of the chicken masala and the other masala now we'll add our tomatoes to this and fry this along with our garlic let this tomatoes become soft so now this is tomatoes are soft and cooked now at this point we'll add our homemade biryani masala So here it is. I'm taking around one of this one tablespoon of that, and let's fry this. And now we will add to this our onion, tomato, that paste. We'll add this. See the color of it. With some cashew nuts and almonds in there. And now mix this all. add salt accordingly i will add little bit of salt to this Masala get nicely cooked. So what I'll do, I'll use little bit of my paya uh, soup in this little bit. And cook this masala for five minutes. Cover this. And I'll cook this for five minutes. So now here it is, and the time is now to add our cooked paya soup along with all the masala. I have not taken out the whole masalas what I used for the soup. If you see. so the cinnamon the cloves everything will go in this the bay leaf along with this cooked paya so let's 
add this now and we'll mix this and now we'll add in this the same uh, this water which is there for our mixer we'll not throw that out so it is like around one cup of water we'll go in this mix this and cook for another 10 minutes just so that all gets nicely together with the flavors of everything and our curry is ready Paya curry is ready to serve so now we cook this for 10 to 15 minutes on low flame the flame is very low and let it cook for another 10 to 15 minutes so now my curry is ready to serve and go in the plate so it's nicely done so i will serve this now put up the gas my serving plate is ready over here some salad so I will put this first curry in this and some payas to go with this So garnish this with some coriander. So here it is ready to serve. Thank you so much for watching this paya curry, mutton paya curry. Thank you.